Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's time to do another Yurtle unboxing. If you don't know what Yurtle is, if you're new to all of my Yurtle videos, Yurtle is essentially an online garage sale site where you can buy and sell other people's things and your own things. So, you know, you can list your items for sale and you can buy other people's stuff. The catch is that everything is bought and sold with Yurtle dollars. So, instead of buying with, you know, U.S. money, it's Yurtle money, which means you can't cash out for cash. So, whatever you sell on Yurtle goes into, like, your Yurtle account, and then you can buy more stuff off of Yurtle. Um, that being said, you do have to pay for shipping. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I am totally obsessed with Yurtle. I am always Yurtling and buying stuff. I've actually got more stuff on the way. So, my hair is, like, crazy today. Yeah. I actually just finished a Yurtle haul. So, it was always time to start another one when I saw. I'm hating these nail wraps, okay? So, like, these two have already, like, came off. And I've got these two right here. Like, they're pretty. But, like, this one's already peeling up a bunch. And they're just, like, they keep catching my hair, which is really an annoying feeling. Anyways. Let's get on into this urinal unboxing. This first one here, I'm extremely excited to show you guys. And I'm extremely excited to start using it. If it is, if it's what I think it is, which it should be. Um, get it open real quick. Okay, I think we finally got it open. Maybe. I don't know. It's in an envelope. It's in a box in an envelope. <laughs> so, how do we open this? Here we go. I was so excited for this. Okay, so I love coloring. I love grown up coloring books. And somebody listed one. It's um, Creative Heaven Flowers Fashion Fantasy. And one of the things I love most about coloring is like coloring in dresses and pretty clothes. So I have like a total Disney princess coloring book that I do enjoy using. And I just like to go through and color all the pretty dresses. So now I've got a whole bunch more pretty dresses that I can color. So, because I'm five at heart. But I am so excited for all of these. And it doesn't look like she used this at all, which I find surprising. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I get a new coloring book and like I can't wait. I get all excited. I'm like, yes. Which one am I going to do first? So, <laughs> that's my first box. Um, we'll get on into this next box, which I'm really excited for. And some of you who have been with me for a really long time are probably going to be like, Girl, what are you doing? You know you don't need any more perfume or body spray. And trust me, I know I don't. I need to quit buying perfume and body spray. Um... That being said, I recently went through my entire perfume collection, and I narrowed, not really narrowed down, kind of, I got rid of a bunch of stuff that, like, I don't use, I didn't get rid of it. I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of the perfumes that I don't use, because a lot of perfumes I have, um, a lot of them are, like, given to me, or I bought them at Bath & Body Works so that I could get, like, the sale price on other things, because that makes any sense. Um, anyways, I ended up with a lot of perfumes, and some of them I just don't even care for. So, I figured I would kind of do what I did with my makeup declutter video, which I have more makeup declutter videos to come, trust me on that one. Uh, but, I figured I'd do the same thing that I did with that, and um, I'll just do like a perfume declutter video, and I'll list everything on Yurtle, and I'll give you guys the information below. Like, I'm not doing it now, but when I do it. I'll give you guys information to go check it out on Yurtle, and maybe you can go get some of my perfumes, because I'm just, I'm not a big fan of florals, and the older I get, the less and less I like the, I like floral smells, and I have several floral perfumes, and I'm just not a fan, and then also the Bath & Body Works Cashmere Glow, I'm not a fan of the, I'm not a fan of that stuff at all, and I've got like three lotions and a body spray for it, and I'm like, why do I have all of this stuff when I don't even like it, so, um, yeah. 
that'll that'll be coming up here before too long. So I after I went through all of my perfumes, there's so many of them that like I don't care for, and I set aside to Yertle. I saw these, and I was like, I think I'm gonna like some of these. So I bought them. Not that I necessarily need them because I still have a fairly substantial collection, but I went ahead and got them anyways. <laughs> Um, and these are more like perfume perfumes. Like I normally have like um, body sprays because I, I like stuff that I can apply repetitively throughout the day. So anyways, we'll go ahead and get on into this. Um, there's Curve Crush. I've never smelled this one. I don't know if I'm going to like that. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go through smelling everything here on, on camera. I don't think I'm going to do all that. I can't really smell anything out of here. I mean, I can... I just, I'm not sure if I'm smelling the perfume or if it's just the cap has a weird scent. I don't know. Then this one is Winter White Citrus Shimmer Roll-On. I think this is a Bath and Body Works one right here. Um, it's really glittery. I'm not sure if this is Bath and Body Works or not. Like normally Bath and Body Works stuff says like Bath and Body Works, you know? What does it really, what does it really say on here? Hmm. But this looks like it would be Bath and Body Works. Ooh, that smells good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that. That kind of smells like limeade. Like, you guys ever had limeade? What that smells like. This one is Be Kissable. Not sure who, who lives by. That's not one I really care for. Care for. So this one will definitely be going in that uh, Yertle haul when I like declutter all of my perfumes. This one's just a much more mature smelling perfume. It's not really for me. So look out for that one. I'll be getting rid of that. <laughs> then we have Dessert Treats um, by Candy, I guess, or something. Not really sure if you guys have ever seen this brand or not. I haven't. It's got like a little little dessert lid on it. That's kind of cutesy. Let's see if we can open it or not. How do you open? There we go. Mmm. That smells good. That just smells sweet. It doesn't really have like a distinct smell. It just smells sweet. Then we have another. This one is Winter White Fresh. Is this the same thing? Winter White Citrus. This one's Winter White Fresh. Okay. And this one's kind of like a blue, blue glitter, glittery, blue <laughs> glittery perfume. Ooh, I like that one even better. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for that one. Oh, those were the two I was, those and these were the ones I was excited for and like the whole reason I bought this. So then I've got some of the Beauty Rush from Victoria's Secret perfumes, which I used to love these in high school. Like, I wore them all the freaking time. Um, and that was back when they were, like, two-toned in the bottle. Anybody else remember that? Where it was, like, you know, the bottom half would be, like, a dark pink and the top half would be, like, a light pink or something. I don't know. This one is Honeydew. Ooh, and there's Roll-Ons. That's so cute. Can't really smell anything out of here. Oh, man. That smells so good. Ooh, I am Ooh. Mmm. I might have to go swap out the vanilla cherry that's in the bathroom for that one. And then these ones are both juiced berries. So, give you a look. See, this one's two tone. This is what I was talking about. Remember when they were all like this? Where it was like dark here at the bottom and like light colored here at the top? And now it seems like when you go into Bath and Body, well, this one's two tone too. I don't know. But I was in, not Bath and Body Works. I was in Victoria's Secret the other day and looking at their Beauty Rush. And it seemed like they're um, like all one color in the bottle now. I like that. It's a really subtle, sweet smell. So, I'm really excited about these. Yes. And like I said, um, the Be Kissable one, you'll probably be seeing that in the Euro haul because that's just not my thing. Let's be honest. And I wasn't loving that one. So, here's our last box for the day, I do believe. Um, I have like two more items coming. But, go ahead. And, there should be a couple of things in here. Yeah. So, first one in here is just another bra. I just, I needed, I didn't really necessarily need, need another bra, but I thought it was cute. And I really just wanted the shoes, but I seen these, and I was like, let's just do a bundle. Throw it in. 
why not? And then I got a couple of Keds flats, which these are a bit worn, but that's okay. I plan on using these to replace the work sneakers that I currently have, not sneakers, but work flats that I currently have because the ones I have, um, they're from Walmart and though I really like them, they're like my third pair, they don't hold up very well. So these will re be replacing those and they feel really squishy on the inside still. So that's always good to know that they're not like worn out. So I don't think there's anything else in here. No, but yeah. Oh, she sent me a little thank you card. It says, happy yearling, and it has her name. So thank you. Okay, so that wraps up everything for today. Um, so I'll probably see you guys in a day or two with the rest of my yurtle goodies. Just got my last box in today for this yurtle haul. I'm pretty excited for this one because it's a pretty big bundle that I did. Uh, the lady actually got a hold of me and was like, everything's not fitting in this box and I don't know you know that she's like I don't know if I can you know because for a year old you know you're only allowed to ship like 10 pounds worth of stuff and the box can only be like X amount of big or whatever and she's like you know I don't think everything's gonna fit and so she actually had to take one of my items off which kind of sucked but it's okay I mean I wasn't like super into it anyways but still would have been nice to have so Okay, we got that open. So, first thing I'm pulling out of here, and I'm so excited for these shoes. Different brand than I thought they were, but it's just like these big, chunky flip-flops. I loved these things. When I was like a teenager um, and a preteen, I loved these shoes, and I still love them. I stopped wearing them because I thought they weren't cool, but guess what? I still love them. So... I recently got back into them. I got a pair for this summer. I ordered these ones. She had like three of them. And one of them um, wasn't able to fit in here, which is the pair I wasn't like super into. Then there's another pair in here that are white. Oh, I thought these were both like the Soda Pop brand ones, but these ones are from Rocket Dog. So that's now my second pair of shoes from Rocket Dog that I've gotten off of Yertle. And then the other ones are from Lower East Side. So I've never heard of that brand, but I have a pair of boots I got from Rocket Dog from Yertle that are Rocket Dog a few months ago and I really like them. So just a nice pair of big chunky flip flops. I also got two little baskets. Now I thought these came with like a white liner in them. So maybe that's what's in here. Maybe she bundled them all up separately. But it's just two matching little baskets that I thought would look really nice slid into the entertainment center. So let's see if it doesn't have the liners. I'm going to be disappointed if they don't. And right now I'm kind of questioning if they're going to fit in my entertainment center or not because they might be too tall. Uh, yep, the liners are in here. Just good. Oh, I forgot I ordered these. Uh, I also ordered some bras from her just because, you know, I was making the bundle and I was like, why not? Uh, but I just thought they were really cute. It's just like a little black bra and it's got like lace on the side. And then there's a red bra. Red bra that is identical also with the lacy side and then I like the strap here it has like extra strappage going on uh, and then these baskets just have these little white liners that pop inside That's how they look with their little liners, and I just think they're so stinking cute. So, I'm just trying to adjust that a little bit, but so stinking cute, and they both look just like that, and I think they'll just look really nice slid into my entertainment center. And then, the last one in here is the curtain, which I ordered one random curtain, which, um, if you watched my shopping haul, you would have seen that I have a big cabinet in my dining room, which you can kind of see it, the outline of it right here. It's a big cabinet. And it's missing some of the cabinet doors. So I thought this curtain would be really nice to hang up to cover those cabinets where they're open. But this is much wider than I expected. I thought it was going to be a much thinner, like slimmer curtain. 
but I just really like the pattern on there. So, I don't know how well this one's going to work. I'll give it a go and we'll see. It might be too big, which would really suck because it's a really pretty curtain, but we'll see. Um, so, that wraps it up for today's yurtle haul. Well, today. <laughs> this whole mm, a week or so's worth of yurtling. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed and uh, leave any comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. If you are interested in checking out yurtle, I'll leave, excuse me, I will leave my link to Yurtle down below. Um, please subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.